Hi, I'm Wim Steeland, the Dean of the College of Science, Technology, Engineering and Mathematics here at Youngstown State University, also known as the STEM College. Now, the college is made of 10 departments ranging from science, engineering, mathematics, computer science, and information systems. I chose the YSU Biological Sciences program uh, because they offer plenty of advantages for undergraduates and graduate students. Not only do they teach us up-to-date biological experimental techniques, but they employ very experienced research faculty to mentor us. We're all research active um, across the range from field biology uh, to molecular biology and bioinformatics. We run the gamut uh, uh, in the range of biological sciences. They do a really good job of getting you excited to learn um, biology that you like and other projects that you may not know a lot about and they get you uh, really involved in diving deep into that. It's amazing uh, you know, the opportunities that you get here at YSU in the Biological Sciences program. A lot of people think of chemistry as a stepping stone to pre-professional stuff like medicine. The chemical industry touches every other industry because it's where we get new materials from. My research experience at YSU has exceeded all my expectations. In less than two years, I have already been the co-inventor on a patent, and I have also had some of my work published in a national journal. Teaching through research philosophy, hands-on access to equipment like this, and our program is more dedicated and reliant on the undergrad researcher. So I think that's an important component of our program that sets us apart. Most people just think of building bridges and roads and buildings, but there is a geotechnical side, which is basically the foundations of all the buildings and bridges. The environmental aspect, which is uh, how can we design things to make them more environmentally safe. Our students get real exposure to the real world engineering. There are six different laboratories we have. And the machines in the laboratory, the equipment we have, is very good compared to other state universities. Knowing that the school that's 15 minutes from my house is actually a top ranked school here for STEM, people are recognizing that. Computer science is problem solving, um, it's communication. You couldn't think of that, but if you can't communicate, it's global. So you're working with developers in another country. You have um, the software engineers who are writing code, um, building big systems, even at the manufacturing level. Just a little bit of technology knowledge will, will set you apart in the job realm. We are building the future generation of students who can take those jobs. So we are critical, I think, in, in the STEM uh, college to actually fill those needs. These days you cannot find any system or devices that works without electrical and electronic circuits. A small pieces of every project that they do is going to put their skills and knowledge together to create more effective and better technology in the future. So within electrical engineering, we have about five labs where we have equipment that we could go in and get hands-on experience with what we're doing. We've really had the opportunity as a university to grow and expand in our knowledge base. We're getting better students than ever before. We're getting better faculty than ever before. We're actually growing and we've really exemplified what this, the opportunities that this university presents to its students. Electrical engineering technology, civil engineering technology, and mechanical engineering technology. All of our, those three programs are ABET accredited, which is the accreditation board for engineering and technology. That's something we like to brag about because we're the only programs in about a 50 mile radius of Youngstown that are ABET accredited. It's not, here's a book, read it, study it, come to class, and listen. It's more of interaction, like, I want to teach you this, I want feedback of what you learned, let's talk about what you're missing in between, help connect the pieces. You could um, go out and be a, a supervisor for a job site, um, you could do engineering work for uh, ODOT, structural work, environmental work, uh, there's a really broad, multiple directions you can go with this degree. Many students that go into geology uh, look forward to the ability to travel and do interesting things and certainly geology is one of those professions that can take you all around the world. We excel in what we do. It's great faculty. We learn a lot 
I feel like we're so prepared when we, when we leave here. You do not do the same thing every day. You're always on a new project. You're not in the office every day. and You get to be out in the field and hands-on. I'm really thankful for my decision to come to YSU. Um, I love the department. I love the STEM department. I think that they're very hands-on and they really want to see their students achieve. Every science, whether they want to believe it or not, involves some sort of math. I fell in love with it when I was in elementary school. I was good at it, and it was kind of always a thing. I think it's such a great field to go into, just because there's so much you can do with it. Our undergraduates um, have a wide range of activities to choose from. You know, we take students each year to uh, math conferences. You know, we just got back from Columbus. San Diego, Chicago, um, and these students present some material, that the research that they've conducted with professors. It's such a good program, I mean why wouldn't I come here became the question. One of the unique features about mechanical engineering at YSU as compared to other universities is our focus on allowing the students to learn not only in the classroom and the fundamentals and the theoretical part, but we put a lot of attention on lab work and learning through hands-on and through computer simulation. And we do that with nine different physical labs by the time they graduate. We're always going to need things that move and that's basically what mechanical engineering is. You got to be able to figure it out, make sure things work and we're going to need people who understand that, so that's, that's sort of the reason I went into mechanical engineering is because it's long term, it's always going to be there. You're always going to need people who can understand that and work on that. When you go out into the industry after graduation, you have these experiences under your belt um, and it makes the transition a lot easier. And I got to speak with a few of the students here and it was amazing to hear their undergraduate experience. They got so much time on machines, they had great relationships with the professors, and I noticed that the other colleges I visited didn't have that connection. Well, physics, in essence, helps explain like many of the world's natural phenomena, and I always just like figured it's like one of the sciences that we know in some senses the most about, but in some senses there's always something new. Students work with the faculty members on their research projects, often the students are even uh, published as authors of some of the papers that the faculty members published. What made me choose astronomy is just the sense of wonder and the different discoveries you can make with this field. There are always new things. There's always new people and experiences and I've always been fascinated by space and stars and what could lie out there. And that's humanity's future, it really is. You really come together as a family and you leave YSU with the most incredible reservoir of knowledge and experience you're so well prepared for anything and everything. Now, if you enjoyed that video and you need more information, please don't hesitate to contact us and even better, make an appointment so we can give you a personalized tour. Go Penguins!